Acute kidney injury is the most frequent complication in patients with septic shock and is associated with high mortality. Patients with life-threatening complications from acute kidney injury typically undergo renal replacement therapy on an urgent basis. However, in critically ill patients without life-threatening complications, the optimal time for initiating renal replacement therapy remains controversial. In this randomized controlled trial, 488 patients with early-stage septic shock and severe acute kidney injury were assigned to undergo renal replacement therapy either early, within 12 hours after the onset of acute kidney injury, or after a delay of 48 hours. Acute kidney injury was defined by the failure stage of the rifle classification, which includes oliguria, anuria, or a tripling of the baseline serum creatinine level. The choice of the renal replacement therapy technique was at the discretion of treating clinicians at each of the 29 participating intensive care units in France. The difference in 90-day mortality between groups was not statistically significant, with a rate of 58% in the early strategy group and 54% in the delayed strategy group. In the delayed strategy group, 41 patients required renal replacement therapy before 48 hours. The delayed strategy group also had more metabolic abnormalities in the first seven days after enrollment. Nine patients in the delayed group developed severe hyperkalemia, as compared with none in the early strategy group. The authors conclude that there was no significant difference in overall mortality at 90 days when comparing early initiation of renal replacement therapy with a 48-hour delay in patients with septic shock and non-life-threatening complications from acute kidney injury. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.